Hi everybody, it's Christine with Scrap and Rabbit with another large album. I'm into making the large albums these days. This one is a pretty heavy album. It weighs almost three and a half pounds. There's tons of paper in here. It measures nine and three quarters wide by ten and a half inches wide and it's a full four and a half inches wide at the spine as well. And I made this with paper from my own stash and also some G45 paper from the Moments in Time collection. So what this is, is it's a photo album for a year and it's called Another Year, Our Time. And what it is, is there's one page per month and you can keep track of your year, sort of like a diary or you can put notes in there and lots of pictures and you have a record for a year. So I'm going to take you through this quickly. On the front, like I said, there's a little piece of chipboard that says another year, a little wooden hand, and this says our time. There's a little clock in a wooden frame. This is a little rose that I made. And I made this one and this one too. And this is a little rose that was purchased. I think I had this in my stash as well as this one here. There's a little bit of bling, a little heart, little wooden key and here I have a little metal charm little clock or pocket watch on there and on there's a doily here and I sprayed the doily with archival spray to help preserve it here you can even leave this either leave this as is or you can slide a picture in there and it's got these sort of old-fashioned style ads on there on the side there's a room to journal or put a date and the spine is hard spine and this cardstock is neat it's like a wood grain type cardstock and it's got little flecks of gold in it I've used it in another one of my large albums that I posted earlier on the back there's a little strip of lace another little die cut for journaling so there we have it it closes with chain and a toggle and hoop which I like. They're easy to make this way and I like the fact that you can expand the album as you wish. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this. Okay. It's a large album so it'll be hard to keep in frame. I'll have to go through it one page at a time. The inside cover I just left plain. There's a pocket here so you can slide something in there. On the first page this reads memories and you can put a large photo there again there's a doily that I sprayed with archival spray dimensional embellishment now here is for the month of January each month comes with a large tag in the side pocket so you can put pictures in there and all of my tags are two-sided. I'm just going to grab something to lean this against so I don't squish up the cover, the flowers on the, on the front cover. Okay. Okay. So this page reads January and there's a little tag inside a pocket here. Happy New Year. And this flap opens up like this. So there's room to slide something behind here. And in this pocket there's a large tag. So there's lots of room for pictures. And that slides in this pocket here. I've got two smaller tags here. These were from the paper collection. And here it says New Beginnings. The next page, February, it's got a little folio that opens up. So there's room for journaling here and pictures here. Closes with a magnet. Now this opens up. Again, another large tag. 
small tag. I don't know if this is in frame or not. A long tag. You can put two photos on there on each side. And then I've got another tag. Oh, and February also has its extra large tag in the side pocket. March. Two tags inside the pocket here. slide something behind here. This is another flap that opens up and there's lots of room on this flap. April. This flap opens to the side. And there's room for a photo here. And this opens up. It's an interactive album. I've got a tag in a pocket here from the paper collection. And this is actually very apropos for this past winter. It says, no matter how long the winter, spring is sure to follow. And sure enough, it did after a while. And there's behind here. A large pull out. May. One of my favorite months. Slide something back here. A large tag in the pocket. Smaller tags here. the folio. I like the soft pastels I used for June. The Heart That Loves is Forever Young. Another beautiful vintage tag. I love Graphic 45. It's everything vintage. And July. That's two tags. Pocket for the border punching. Again, you can slide something behind here.
these big albums I think are great for heirloom albums put family photos that you can pass on from generation to generation it's made with acid free papers and cardstock another tag that opens to the side August lovely sunflowers another tab that opens up another tag how does your garden grow? Summertime and living is easy. That's true. Another spot for a photo behind there. This is a pullout for August. Colors. Two more tags here. Halloween time. It's hard to see. This is Halloween th themed paper, but it's dark, so it's hard to see the printing on camera. I love the pumpkins. I love this style image. It reminds me of steampunk. You can put two pictures there, two pictures there, and then maybe one long picture there. Another tag. Pull out. November. This is about harvest time. Room for something behind there. More extra large flaps. I don't know if you can see that. I used quite a few magnets in here too to help hold things in place. In December, a lot of people's favorite month. Oh, I didn't show you the pullout tag for November. Sorry about that. I might have missed some other ones too. There you go. This folds out. Another tag in the pocket. Reach from Santa. Room for a large photo or multiple photos here. And then room for another photo behind here. So December. Large tag. And 
finally on the last page I've got a waterfall and there's lots of room for pictures on this one it's a nice large size waterfall and I've matted both sides of each page and again I left the inside back cover plain so if you wanted to you could put a picture there and slide something in the pocket if you wanted to I hope you enjoyed looking at this album I really enjoyed making it like I said it's a super heavy album so I think by the time you put photos in there it's probably going to weigh like five pounds um, anyways I hope that these videos give you ideas for your own scrapping and if you have any questions don't hesitate to call me happy scrapping